Alchemy. Ibn Gabriel's cosmology influenced the 13th century theologians and alchemists like Albertus Magnus, Roger Bacon, and Raymond Uy. 52 Albertus Magus writings displayed his encyclopedic knowledge of topics such as logic, theology, botany, geography, astronomy, astrology, mineralogy, alchemy, zoology, physiology, phrenology, justice, law, friendship, and love. Among the British, the foremost alchemist was the English philosopher and scientist Roger Bacon, c. 1219-20, c. 1292, a Franciscan friar and Oxford Don. All sorts of tales are associated with him. He was accused of having conjured the elements, of summoning the devil, of fabricating a mirror that revealed the future, and of sculpting a brass head capable of talking. Like many occultists of the period, he found himself in conflict with the church authorities, and in some time after 1277, he was jailed by Franciscan minister General Jerome of Ascoli, later Pope Nicholas IV, and remained in house arrest for the next 14 years. Bacon drew upon arguments expressed by the Sufi Brethren of Sincerity, whose encyclopedic mystical treatises greatly influenced him. 53 Bacon believed that not only the Egyptians but all the Greek philosophers, including Thales, Pythagoras, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, received their wisdom from the Jews. Hermes, who lived at the time of Moses, passed on Jewish wisdom to his grandson, Hermes Trismegistus, who merged Jewish and Egyptian wisdom. To prove his point, Bacon drew frequently on the pseudo-Aristotelian secretum secret orum, which he believed to be authentic. The Secreta Secret Orum, Latin for the Secret of Secrets, also known as the Sir al -Ashur, Secret Book of Secrets, which appeared in many variant texts from the 10th century on, purports to be a letter from Aristotle to his student Alexander the Great on Neoplatonic, Arabic, and Hebraic astrological, magical, and alchemical lore. One 12th century version of the Secretum drew on the Sefer Yetzirah, Bacon himself was familiar with the numerology of the Sefer Yetzirah and the techniques of Merkaba. 54. Like Bacon, the authenticity of the Secretum Secret Orum was also believed by Scotus John Duns Scotus, 1266-1308, who shared Bacon's support of Kabbalistic and Neoplatonic Jewish philosophers. Scotus is generally considered to be one of the three most important philosopher-theologians of Western Europe in the High Middle Ages, together with Thomas Aquinas and William of Ockham. Scotus left his northern homeland in search of Hebrew and Arabic learning. In Paris he studied with a Jewish instructor and developed great admiration for Jewish mathematical and mystical learning. 55. In 1297, Scotus met Raymond Uy, c. 1232, c. 1315, the first author to use the expression Immaculate Conception, which inspired his own doctrine, after it received favorable support among some Franciscan theologians. Yui, who was named Dr. Illuminatus, was born in Majorca in a mixed environment of Christian, Muslim, and Jewish culture. Yui was familiar with the teachings and methods of the Sufi Brethren of Sincerity. 56. Through Yui himself explicitly condemned such subjects, he gained a wide reputation the Middle Ages and Renaissance as an alchemist. Yui's parents had come to colonize the formerly Almohad ruled island of Majorca. Although he had a family, he lived what he would later call the licentious life of a troubadour. In 1263, Yui experienced a series of visions reported in his autobiography Vita Coetania, Daily Life. Ramon, while still a young man and Sainé's child to the king of Majorca, was very given to composing worthless songs and poems and to doing other licentious things. One night he was sitting beside his bed, about to compose and write in his vulgar tongue a song to a lady whom he loved with a foolish love, and as he began to write this song, he looked to his right and saw our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross, as if suspended in mid-air. 57. The vision came to Ue five times in all, leading him to leave his former life behind in order to pursue a life in the service of God. After a short pilgrimage, he returned to Majorca, where he purchased a Muslim slave from whom he intended to learn Arabic. Between 1271 and 1274, 
Yui wrote his first works, a compendium of the Muslim thinker Al-Ghazali's logic and the Labra de Contemplatio and Du, book on the contemplation of God. Yui urged the study of Arabic and other languages, along with his own works, to convert Muslims and Christian heretics, and traveled through Europe to meet with popes and nobles to try to establish colleges to prepare future missionaries. In 1276 a language school for Franciscan missionaries was founded at Miramar, funded by James II. 58 and 311, following missionary trips to North Africa, Lull finally achieved his goal when the Council of Vienne ordered the creation of chairs of Hebrew, Arabic, and Chaldean, Aramaic, at the universities of Bologna, Oxford, Paris, and Salamanca as well as at the papal court. 59. Moshe Idel argues that Yui had access to techniques of ecstatic Kabbalah, similar to those taught by Abraham of Elafia, 1240, c. 1291, the founder of the school of prophetic Kabbalah, and described in contemporary Hebrew treatises on the Sefer Yetzirah. 60. Abulafia's first journey in 1260 was to the land of Israel, where he intended to search for the legendary river Sambation and the ten lost tribes. In 1280, he went to Rome in order to convert Pope Nicholas III to Judaism on the day before Rosh Hashanah. When he heard of it, the Pope issued orders to burn the fanatic, as soon as he reached Suriano. Abulafia went to Suriano despite the threat, and when he arrived he heard that the Pope had died from an apoplectic stroke during the preceding evening. Abulafia returned to Rome, where he was thrown into prison by the Franciscans, but was liberated after four weeks' detention. He was next heard of in Sicily, where he supposedly appeared as a prophet and messiah. Abulafia called his system the Kabbalah of Names, referring to the divine proper names, or magical names of power. Abulafia's Kabbalistic permutations involved the use of letters of the alphabet, and especially the Tetragrammaton and other names of God, such as Adonai and Elohim, for the purposes of meditative training. Another technique involved gematria, which is based on interpretations of the meaning of words from the numerical value of letters in Hebrew. 61 Gershom Skolem also noticed that, already in the 13th century, in the Kabbalah of Abraham of Bulafia, the techniques used to aid the ascent of the soul, such as breathing exercises, the repetition of the divine names, and meditations on colors, bear a marked resemblance to those of both Indian Yoga and Muslim Sufism. 62. While he conversed with Muslim Sufis and Jewish Kabbalists, Yui also studied the writings of John Scotus Aragina, c. 815, c. 877, the greatest Christian philosopher of the Dark Ages, whose Neoplatonism annoyed Rome, all the while shaping the systems it later adopted. Aragina's translations of the works of Christian Neoplatonists, Pseudo Dionysius the Areopagite, Saint Maximus the Confessor, Saint Gregory of Nyssa, made them accessible to Western thinkers. Aragina translated from Greek into Latin a treatise on angelic hierarchies attributed to Dionysius the Areopagite, which drew on concepts in early Jewish Gnosticism as well as Neoplatonism. In his principal work, On the Division of Nature, John Scotus attempted to reconcile the Neoplatonist doctrine of emanation with the Christian tenet of creation. Though highly influential upon his successors, notably the Western mystics and the 13th century scholastics, De Divis Ioni Naturi eventually suffered condemnation by the Church because of its pantheistic implications. Yui merged Aragina's angelic hierarchies with the Sephiroth of the Kabbalah. 63 Aragina proposed that through various stages of illumination, an initiate could be angelized or deified a process symbolized by entrance into the outer porticos of the Temple of Solomon. 64 Fascinated by mathematics and geometry, Aragina developed a mystic sense of the building of the Temple of Solomon, which contains the measure by which all things, in the Eshatan, are measured. 65 Aragina's Theosophy influenced Israel of Gerona and other Jewish Theosophers, who recognized similarities between his Temple mysticism and that of the Sefer Yetzirah. 66. The alchemist's hope was to perform the transmutation in the laboratory of turning lead into gold. 
One vital part of the process was the mysterious agent known as the Philosopher's Stone. Alchemists perused ancient manuscripts, and worked to find the coveted formula through experimentation, a labor that was generally known as the Great Work. There were many theories about how to pursue the Great Work, and each one carefully guarded his theories, experiments, and even the equipment used in the process. I swear to you upon my soul, you e vowed to his readers, that if you reveal this, you shall be damned. A later adept, writing under the name of Basil Valentine, warned that to speak of this even a little further would mean being willing to risk to sink into hell. As Englishman Thomas Norton wrote in the 15th century, this art must ever secret be. The cause whereof is this, as ye may see, if one evil man had thereof all his will, all Christian peace he might easily spill, and with his pride he might pull down, rightful kings and princes of renown. 67. The story of Nicholas Flamel, born around 1330, a mixture of his own writings, municipal records, and anecdotes, was one of the best-known tales of the Philosopher's Stone during the Middle Ages, particularly in France. According to texts ascribed to him almost 200 years after his death, Flamel had learned alchemical secrets from a Jewish converso on the road to Santiago de Compostela. 68 Flamel is said to have had a dream one night seeing an angel with a book. The angel said, Flamel. Behold this book of which thou understandeth nothing, to many others but thyself it would remain forever unintelligible, but one day thou shalt discern in its pages that none but thyself shall see. 69. In 1357, browsing through old manuscripts, Flamel came across the same book he saw in his dream. The title of the book was Abraham the Jew, Prince, Priest, Levite, Astrologer, and Philosopher to the Nation of the Jews, by the wrath of God dispersed among the Gauls, sendeth health, one of the most famous in Western esoteric tradition, partly to its importance within the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. The story involves Abraham of Worms who recounts how he found Abramel in the mage in Egypt who taught him a powerful form of Kabbalistic magic. The text describes a lengthy, difficult, and elaborate ritual whose purpose is to obtain the knowledge and conversation of the magician's guardian angel who will appear and reveal magical secrets. The magician must evoke and bind the twelve kings and dukes of Hell, Lucifer, Satan, Leviathan, Belial, etc., who deliver a number of familiar spirits associated with a set of magical word square talismans provided in the Abramelin's Book 4. Thereby, the magician is promised the ability, for example, to find buried treasure, cast love charms, the ability of magical flight, and the secret of invisibility. 1. Procopius of Caesarea. History of the Wars, Trans. H. B. Doing, London, 1919. 2 Ibid, 3.4.2, 3. 3 Ibid, 4.9.6, 9. 4 Skolem. Origins of the Kabbalah, p. 13. 5 Gustav Sage. Les Juifs du Languedoc and Terreurement au XIVE siècle, Paris, Alphonse Picard, 1881, p. 44. 6 Norman Galb. The Jews in Medieval Normandy, A Social and Intellectual History, Cambridge University Press, 1998, p. 15. 7 Dot Collection, pages 53 etseq, 339-353. 8 Graboy. La Dynastie de Royce Jewifs, p. 52 and 23, cited in Zuckerman. Princeton. Pages 170 to 71. 9. Marcus N. Adler, The Itinerary of Benjamin of Tudela, Jewish Quarterly Review, O.S. 16, 1904, p. 459, cited in Jeremy Cohen. The Nasai of Narbonne, A Problem in Medieval Historiography. AJS Review Vol. 2, 1977, p. 63. 10. Skolem. Kabbalah, p. 183. 11 Ibid. 12 Napier. A to Z of the Knights Templar. 13 Hugh J. Sean Field. The Essene Odyssey, 
The Mystery of the True Teacher and the Essene Impact on the Shaping of Human Destiny, Element Books, 1984. 14 Napier. A to Z of the Knights Templar. 15 Theodore H. Gaster. The Dead Sea Scriptures, Peter Smith Publishing Inc., 1976. 16 Bendov. In the Shadow of the Temple, p. 347. 17 Skolem. Origins of the Kabbalah, p. 53. 18 Ibid, p. 69. 19 Joseph Dan, ed. The Early Kabbalah, New York, Paulist Press, 1986, p. 28. 20 Ibid. 21 Skolem. Kabbalah, p. 22. 22 Chapter 6. 23 Tom Block, Towards an Understanding of the Jewish-Sufi, Speech to the Jewish Community Relations Council, Ratner Museum, May 2, 2007 http colon slash slash www.tomblock.com slash published slash shalom underscore jewish sufi 2.php 24 Ibid 25 Skolem Kabbalah, P38 26 1 Maccabees, 2, 39-48 27 James Connell Henriques. The Identity of the Hasidians of 1 and 2 Maccabees, a re-examination of the topic with a focus on the history of scholarship. Ph.D. Dis, University of Georgia, 2009. 28 Skolem. Kabbalah, P183. 29 Skolem. Kabbalah, P31. 30 Ibid. P 183. 31 Ibid, P 184. 32 Ibid, P 183. 33 Ibid, P 184. 34 Admit Kozman. Love Thy Vampire, Kosherly. Haaretz, Septum 28, 2011. 35 Jeffrey Dennis. Vampires, Jewish Goth. Bloodsuckers in Judaism. Jewish Myth, Magic, and Mysticism. Retrieved from http colon slash slash ejmmm 2007blogspotcom slash 2006 slash 11 slash vampires hyphen Jewish hyphen goth dot html. 36 Joseph Dan. Kabbalah, A Very Short Introduction, Oxford, p.106-107. 37 F. Levine. Techniques for Creating a Golem. Practical Kabbalah. Retrieved from http colon slash slash kabbalah.failovine.com slash golem slash pk006.php. See also Moshe Idel, Golem, Jewish Magic and Mystical Traditions on the Artificial Anthropoid, and Arya Kaplan, Translation of and Commentary on the Sefer Yetzirah. 38 Sarah Pessin. April 18, 2014. Solomon I. B. N. Gabriel of Isbron. Inzal Ta, Edward N. The Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Summer 2014 ed. 39 Abraham Barhaya, Savazer Da, E.J., On Links Between Jews and Templars, C.S. Baron, Social, 4, 37, X, 67, 331. 40 Scutchard. Restoring the Temple of Vision, p. 46. 41 Sefer Hajian Hanafesh, ed. G. Wigoder, Jerusalem, 1969, as cited in Joseph Dan, ed. The Early Kabbalah, New York, Paulist Press, 1986, p. 28. 42 Sefer Hajian Hanafesh, ed. G. Wigoder, Jerusalem, 1969, as cited in Joseph Dan, ed. The Early Kabbalah, New York, Paulist Press, 1986, p. 28. 43 Fabrizio Lelli. Hermes Among the Jews, Hermetica as Hebraica from Antiquity to the Renaissance. Magic, Ritual, and Witchcraft, University of Pennsylvania Press, Volume 2. Number 2, Winter 2007, pages 120. 
44 in his commentary to Psalm 69,29, Genesis 17,9, and to Exodus 6,3, 33,21. 45 Scutchard. Restoring the Temple of Vision, p. 39. 46 Adolf Drexler. Illustriert's Lexicon der Astronomie, Leipzig, J.J. Weber, 1881. 47 India. Jewish Virtual Library. Retrieved from https colon slash slash www.jewishvirtuallibrary.org slash India. 48 Ibid. 49 Richard Gottheil and Wilhelm Bacher. IBN Ezra, Abraham Ben Medir, Aben Ezra, dot. JewishEncyclopedia.com. 50 Dov Schwartz. Studies on Astral Magic in Medieval Jewish Thought. In the Brill Reference Library of Judaism, Volume 20. Leiden, Brill, 2005, p. 10. 51 David Pingree. Some of the sources of the Gea al Hakim, Journal of the Warburg and Court Ald Institutes, Volume 43, 1980, pages 1 to 15. 51 Picatrix das Ziel de Weisen von Pseudo Magritte, translated into German from the Arabic by Helmut Ritter and Martin Plissner, London, The Warburg Institute, University of London, 1962, p. 20. 52 Frank McGill. The Middle Ages, Dictionary of World Biography, Volume 2, Routledge, 2012, p. 500. 53 G. Sartan, History, 2, 246, cited in Scutchard. Restoring the Temple of Vision, p. 67. 54 Scutchard. Restoring the Temple of Vision, p. 68. 55 Ibid, p. 69. 56 Ramon Lull. Selected Works of Ramon Elui, ed. Anthony Bonner, Princeton, Princeton Up, 1985, I, 292.26. 57 Historical Background and Life in Anthony Bonner, ed. Dr. Illuminatus. A Ramon Ui Reader, Princeton University 1985. 58 Who Was Ramon Ui? Center de Documentatio Ramon Ui, Universitat de Barcelona, retrieved from http colon slash slash keysistelulus.nrpen.net slash ang slash one underscore intro underscore ang dot html. 59 Albrecht Klassen. Toleration and Tolerance in Medieval European Literature, Taylor and Francis, 2018. Pages 280. 60 Moshe Idel. Ramon Lull and Ecstatic Kabbalah, JWCI, 51, 1988, 70-74. 61 Sami Schoberg. The Vanguard Messiah, Letrism Between Jewish Mysticism and the Avant-Garde, Berlin, Walter de Gruder GmbH and Co. KG, 2015, p. 48. 62 Skolem. Kabbalah, p. 180. 63 Keith Scutchard. Restoring the Temple of Vision, p. 72. 64 P.A. Dietrich and D.F. Duklau, Virgins in Paradise, Deification and Exegesis in Periphyseon v. in G.H. Allard, ed. Jean Scott Acriven, Paris, Cayas d'Etudes Medievals, 1986, pages 31-37. 65 James McAvoy. Biblical and Platonic Measure in John Scottus Era Eugenia, in Bernard McGinn and Wilhelmine Otten, eds, Eregina, East and West, Notre Dame, Notre Dame Up, 1994, p. 159. 66 Gabrielle Sedragina. L. Influence de Jean Scott sur la doctrine du cabalist Israel de Gerone, in Jean Scott Eregine et l'histoire de la philosophie, Paris, Editions du Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique, 1977, pages 453 to 462. 67 Time Life Books, ed. Mysteries of the Unknown, Secrets of the Alchemists, Alexandria, Virginia, Time Life Books, 
1989, p. 45. 68. Juan Garcia Atienza. Liendas del Camino de Santiago, EDAF, 1998, p. 59. 69. Secrets of the Alchemists, p. 46.